Hi guys and welcome to Studio Wildlife. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how I painted that tiger. Um, if you enjoyed the video please make sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel, we really appreciate it. So there you saw my setup. Um, here are the paints I'm using. I'm using a deep green, a tharlow blue, a tharlow green, an emerald green, a cobalt blue, grey, raw umber, burnt sienna, and orange yellow. I'm using the Arteza brand of paints. Um, I've done a little review of those, if you want to have a read about them, I do like them, they're quite good. So I'm using an A4 canvas, I'm just painting on my tabletop easel, and I'm just using a disposable palette for this and some simple brushes. The brush I'm using is a 1 inch flat brush, and all I'm doing is doing very thin washes of colour, and um, mixes of green and blue, for that base wash. As this is only a little field sketch that I'm doing, I'm not too bothered about it being neat, and I'm just playing around and splashing paint around the canvas. So you can see there, I'm using a bit of blue and bits of green. I'm not really waiting for the layers to dry, but as they dry naturally over the few minutes that it took for me to do this, um, you can see that as I build up the layers, they get darker and darker, but as some of the paint is still wet, as I use water on the brush, I'm picking up some of those colours and leaving some of that white showing through. I like the brush marks that I'm making in this, I'm being quite loose with it and just throwing that colour over the canvas. I quite like the drip effects in my painting, so that's why I've left them in. Next, I just use a little bit of tissue, so you can see how wet that acrylic paint still is. Hey, I'm just using some tissue to pull away some of that paint from the middle of that canvas because that's where I want the base of the tiger to be. Hey, so I'm just blocking in where I want that tiger to be, adding some brown, going to add a bit of orange to this in a second, just so I know where I want the middle of that tiger to be. Here you can see me just roughing up roughly the basic shape of that tiger. Next. I start by drawing in the tiger. For this, I'm just using a short angled brush. I'm just using a mix of black and some of the raw umber. So I've added actually black to my palette here. Uh, and I am just painting away and drawing around the shape of the tiger. I like to start with a dark blocking and a dark drawing because I like to know exactly where I want things placed. Sometimes I will start with a blocking and just rough out all the straight shapes and the structures first, but most of the time I like to start with the drawing. So for this part I just start with the white areas and I'm just using some of the grey paint to block in some of the whites. Okay, I will go lighter over the top of these, this is just my first dark layer. I do the orange and the brownie colours of the actual tiger. And then I start to refine those black shapes again with the short angled brush, the ones that I just lost hey, as I did that first blocking of colour. Hey, I really like to know exactly where my paint's going. So next I do the eye, and the eye was really straightforward. If you want to know more about painting tiger eyes, I have a video for that as well. I'll put the link here, so go and check that out. So all I'm doing is just building up colours with the small detailed brush. I want this quite bright, so that area at the top of the head where it looks really orange, that's really saturated, it's a really bright orange. Okay, I've not watered it down as much because I want it to be as bright as possible because that's where I want the light to hit. The rest of the fur is a little bit greyer because that's the fur that's going to be in shadow, so that's got less saturated colour there. And the way I usually do that is either mix it with a little bit of black or mix it with the opposite colour. Okay, and that tends to grey the paintings, the paint colours a little bit more. And here I'm just building up the details with that detail brush. Okay. 
all it is is a quick little, little sketch. I'm not going to much detail about painting tigers. If you want to learn how to paint a tiger, I do have a better video on that, and I'll put a little link in the description below so you can check that out. So for the muzzle, I'm just using a sort of pale yellow colour, and I'll be working over the top of that with some grey and some blue colours. Okay, I'm never going full white. I don't want pure white in my picture. Pure white doesn't really happen very much in nature. Okay, if it's pure white, it's because something is overexposed. And you don't really see pure white in real life, so I'm not going to use pure white in my pictures. For the fur, or specifically the whiskers or the hairs near the eyes, I really like using this dagger brush, um, or a sword liner as it's sometimes called. This is the best paintbrush I've ever bought for doing this. It really allows me to leave controlled and natural looking whiskers and fur. To finish it off, I'm just neatening up that white background, okay, and adding in some slightly different drips that I want it to appear a bit straighter. Here's the finished painting. Again, it's just a sketch. This piece will actually be sold as a print to raise some money for charity. I will let you know more about that. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give us a like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. For more wildlife art tips, head over to studiowildlife.com.